Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another grounded video where today we're going to be going over a few of your guys' most requested bugs that you guys want to see get added to grounded. But the thing about this video is it's not going to be, hey, I think that this is a great idea. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a couple of the bugs that we have requested to get added to the game that could be next to impossible for the developers to add to the game just because of how small we are. So I will talk about the, the pluses and the minuses to each one of these that we're going to be going through. Through, but today I have lined up six bugs in a small playthrough that are going to be going over exactly why I think certain th things should not or could not get added to Grounded. Okay guys, so here we are with number one. So if you guys don't under know what this bug is, this is actually called a cicada. I talked about this in a very recent stream of them adding a cicada to the game. Now cicadas are a standard large beetle that is in 99% of the North America region. And that's why I'm saying that these could very well get added to the game. Uh, you are in main in grounded so it's very possible that a cicada could get added now this is your standard size of a brown cicada they are between zero uh, they're between two and five centimeters uh they're quite a large beetle um but what i've done here is i've gone through and given you a little bit of an explanation on how big you actually are in this game so for instance uh, you'll see here's an ant the standard uh red ants that are in the backyard with us and then a little person right the size of say pete uh in the backyard and then the actual size of the cicada so if you look this would kind of be like fighting an elephant with wings okay it would be very difficult to fight it and how you would actually harm this i don't know but i'm just bringing this up because i had brought up the fact that seeing a cicada get added to ground it would be really cool um and i think that it would be a really good addition it would add a really cool like sound to the game and be really loud it would give you something really big to fight but this is probably the most realistic thing that could get added to the game beyond what's going further because everything that goes further gets really out there and some of the things that we have asked to get added to grounded are just absolutely massive so as for the cicada it could possibly happen it is only about two to five centimeters long they do tend to get they do tend to stay that size we'd have to add multiple stages because cicadas technically bury themselves in the ground for years as a larva stage and then emerge uh, crawl up a tree hatch out into this ugly thing go out make noise for one season mate lay eggs and die and that's that's a cicada life cycle so it would be interesting to see a cicada i got something in my eye be cool to see a cicada get added to the game but i just don't know how realistic it would be to try to fight something like this okay let's go on to the next one here the next one is a praying mantis this has been asked for by hundreds of you guys said i think a praying mantis be really cool i think a praying mantis would be really cool i think a praying mantis would be really cool and i agree with you a praying mantis would be really cool but i want you to realize how big a praying mantis that would be in that side in that area of the United States would be compared to your character. So down here, you'll see a little bit of an ant and your character that's right here. Okay. You are about two centimeters tall, two to three centimeters tall is how tall you are. That's what they've said in the game. Maybe at most four centimeters. Okay. At most you're four centimeters tall. Your standard uh, praying mantis in length from head to tip of uh, wingtail is around 10 to 20 centimeters long. They are really, really big in comparison to you. So this would be kind of like trying to fight a building okay fighting a a, a a praying mantis would just be absolutely massive the worst thing you could do is attack its leg or you'd have to somehow climb up it onto its head avoiding its mouth it would just grab you and eat you at that point so i don't think that a praying mantis is something that could possibly come to grounded i could see them wanting to add it because a lot of people have been asking about it but they would have to make like little tiny baby mantises i know that there are some uh, species of insects out there. I suppose we should talk about this. Um, some of the species of insects that are out there, like uh, praying mantises or uh, the cicadas and stuff, there are smaller versions of them. Okay. I know that. And I'm going off of an average size here. I'm not going off the biggest or the smallest. I'm going off of your average size of a standard bug that you'd find in Northern Maine where the game is put. And I just want to say that it may be that, you know, they could add this and they could make it a lot smaller just to make it so you could fight it because they just want to add it to the game. At the end of the day, it's a sci-fi game. It's their game. They can adjust anything that they want to and make it the way that they want. But I'm just going off of what an average size would be. Okay, moving on. The next slide that we're going to be talking about, the next bug is a dragonfly. 
okay? This is your standard Dragonfly, okay? This I could also see kind of coming to the game, but this would be more like a mount and something that would be friendly that maybe you could tame um, instead of actually fighting. Because if you look, this guy is actually about 7 to 12 centimeters in length, and their wingspan normally is between that same thing so it's about the same length maybe a little bit wider so it's going to be a very big um bug for you to fight at the end of the day i mean its eye is literally bigger than you are it'd be like swimming up i mean you think that the koi fish right now is really big but i mean you're talking a dragonfly would be almost that same size it's just massive Okay, so that's dragonflies. I don't think a dragonfly could get added to the game. I mean, they could add it in, but I don't know how you're going to do damage to it. They'd have to add something to the game. Maybe you get some sort of ballista that you can use to fight these things. I don't know. They just have to go through and show us exactly what they're thinking on how things are going to get added to the game. Because at the end of the day, uh, something that's this big hitting something with a mallet that's probably the size of that ant at the biggest. I mean, you're really just not going to do a ton of damage to that. Okay, moving on. The next thing we have is your standard butterfly. I've chosen a monarch butterfly as my example because there are a lot of monarch butterflies in the U.S. in the northern states. So I've gone ahead and just said, okay, well, what if it was a monarch butterfly? Because a lot of people want a butterfly to get added of the game as well and this is what i've found a butterfly the standard monarch butterfly is anywhere between 8 and 12 centimeters in length okay in in wing width that would mean that it would be like trying to fight mothra from from uh from godzilla that's literally what it'd be like trying to fight as a human you'd literally be like down there trying to take on this with a stick and a rock more or less trying to fight mothra who could just come and pick you up and throw you across the backyard. Now, I get it. They have shrunk down a couple things because technically a bee is not that much smaller than your standard uh, butterfly. But at the end of the day, I'm just going off of examples here to show the size differences and what we are right now to what could get added to the game or what they might or might not add and how it would change things. So let's go on to the next one. The next one is a scorpion. A lot of you guys have asked for a scorpion to get added to uh, Grounded as well. And I just want to point out, first of all, uh, this is just your standard brown scorpion. I don't know what it's a picture of. I just took a picture of a scorpion because it looked cool and everybody can tell. Yep, that, that's a that's a scorpion. Um, but I'm going off of like a standard brown scorpion size. They're between 8 and 10 centimeters in length. Um, but this tail here, this spike on the tail is literally bigger than your character. Oop, we'll talk about tarantulas in a second. But it's literally bigger than your character. So if you were to get hit by that, game over. Its pincers could literally cut you in half. It would eat you in one bite. And its shell is so strong, I don't know how you would get through it. It would literally be like trying to fight a titanium building with a battle axe. I don't know how you, it's not impossible, but it's going to be very, very difficult. So scorpions, as much as I would like to see them get added to the game, I don't think that they possibly could get added. And as you guys saw earlier, the last one that I want to show off is a tarantula. Now, this is your standard hairy tarantula. Um, this is really gross me looking at it on my screen, but I will say that this is a tarantula that is around 12 centimeters in length in like from tail, from, you know, leg to leg. Um, and it's huge okay you would literally fit inside of its like you could literally stand on its butt here it'd be like a moving building it'd be like trying to fight a, a cruise ship okay or trying to fight like a yacht okay you could literally ride around on this thing you could build a little base on its back to maneuver through the backyard which as cool as that would be i just don't see that being possible because how in the world are you supposed to fight something this big we don't have anything in the game yet that could make it so we could fight something so looking at this it's like well how in the world do i think that the grana developers would go yeah let's put a tarantula in the backyard because that sounds like it's going to be an awesome idea but then you have to go back and remember one it's a video game two they could do what they want and three how would we fight this but guys that is all of the bugs that i have to talk about today so the last thing I want to leave you guys is with is this. So first of all, obviously, this is a video game. Like I've said a few times throughout the video, this is a video game. And they can make whatever changes to the game that they want to make. They can switch things up however they want to do it. And they can pretty much do whatever they want. It's a video game at the end of the day. So could they add all these bugs that I'm saying it would be very, very difficult for them to add? Yes, they could. They could very, very, very easily add all of these bugs that I've 
just gone through to the game and say, you know what, Sim? We don't care about your opinion. It's our video game. We're doing it. It's a video game. Play it. It's going to be fun. And I will say that if all of these get added to the game, it would be tons of fun to fight all of them. But I just want to remind people that the size difference would be incredible. Now, I will say that there are some things in the game that are a little off, like how big the ladybugs are in comparison to you, comparison to an ant. It doesn't really make sense. The wolf spider should be a lot bigger. And I get that. OK, that's why I'm saying it's a video game. I am not a developer. I'm not a person that works for Obsidian that is actually making this game. So I just wanted to point out a couple of my thoughts and my opinions. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like it, please hit that like button for me to let me know you guys want to see more. Make sure you guys subscribe to me, turn that bell notification to all. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.